All right, in this tutorial, we're going to be adding the Virtual Reality Toolkit, VRTK, uh, to our Unity project. Um, this was going to be the next thing we did in class um, right before we went to distance learning. Um, so what we're about to do is open up a browser window and go to the Blackboard for this class. Under Guides, um, you're going to find um, folders now. I have the Premiere Guides under Premiere, you know, on and on. And then we're going to have um, the Guides for Unity in here. And the first one is VRTK, getting started with VRTK prefabs. When you click that, it's going to take you to um, the GitHub page for VRTK. Uh, GitHub is a cool website where lots and lots of software developers post their projects and allow you to download and uh, make requests and if they're open source even work on the projects. Um, VRTK is one of these projects and it allows Unity developers uh, to have a bunch of already made um, tools to connect with VR headsets and controllers. So a lot of the heavy programming work that it would take um, to make the headsets and controllers work, they've done that for us. So we definitely want to use this tool um, and we need to follow these directions to do it. Okay, so we're going to follow this getting started directions in this tutorial. Um, so first, it says setting up a project, create a new project in Unity um, in this version or above with the 3D template. That's what we did last time. So here we are. It's done. Um, we should be good to go there. Next, we're going to ensure that virtual reality support is checked. Okay. Um, so the way that it says to do this is go to edit and then project settings and then under player, which mine has as default, we're going to scroll down until we find XR settings. And under XR settings, we want to check the box that says virtual reality supported. Okay, takes a minute and it's done. And now um, we have uh, completed this. And we're going to go to the next bullet point. Um, we want to open up the project settings and go to player other settings now. So we're just going to go right back up here, other settings, and it wants us to find this um, .NET standard and change it to .NET 4X. Um, and while we're here, it doesn't ask us to do this, but you should. Um, let's change this to up here under color space um, to linear instead of gamma. Um, and that is um, to do with how the software we're making, uh, the Unity project we're making, deals with color and light. Um, and linear just works better for higher end graphics, whereas gamma is designed for um, mobile. So um, let's do this. Then we're done. We can hit X on project settings. Now, um, the next part of this is that we go down here and do the XR legacy input helpers. So this says main menu window package manager window package manager and then once this populates we're going to go all the way down to the bottom and choose legacy input helpers and we want to install that <coughs> what that does is um import a lot of scripts that allow uh controller movements and buttons from um, various virtual reality uh, devices to be tracked by Unity. So we're going to close this, and then we're on to our very last step. 
And this is maybe the um, most confusing if you've never done any um, programming or web design or any of that kind of stuff where you have to look at um, code that's written like this. This may be intimidating just because you start seeing brackets and you're like, oh no, it's programming stuff. Um, don't worry, I'll get you through it. Uh, there's not a lot going on here, but we have to make sure we do it just right. Um, so what it's asking us to do is go to the packages directory of your project. What that means is literally open up in Windows, the Windows Explorer, or in Mac, the Finder window, and go to that folder where you saved your project in. And so we're saying VR class tutorial was the one I was working on. And it wants me to go to the packages folder. So that's packages. And then I'm going to find this file, the project manifest file, manifest.json. Um, and it says open it in a text editor. So if you're on Windows, you will right click, choose um, open with, and then choose notepad and don't have it always use this app to open JSON files. Um, if you're on Mac, uh, go through a similar process, but choose text edit. Um, and if it gives you trouble about like open with or whatever, um, you can go to the spotlight, the magnifying glass in the top right of, of Mac OS and type text edit. And then you should be able to open this file inside text edit. Either way, it ends up looking like this. Um, similar, <laughs> but not the same as this example here. Okay. So um, what we need to do is select everything from this example, starting with the curly brackets all the way down to the line io.extendreality, blah, 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 and just there. Don't get anything else. Don't get these dot, dot, dots or the other brackets. This is what we need. You see this? I'm, I'm trying to emphasize how important it is we just get this. And we're going to copy it. So Control or Command C, depending on your um, OS. And then when we go into our text editor, we're going to copy it over top of these two lines. So we're getting rid of the curly bracket because we're supplying our own. And then we're putting in all this extra stuff, the scoped registry section. We're replacing the dependencies line. So we want to get rid of that because it's already in here. And then we're adding this, um, this path. Um, so let's do it. Let's copy and then paste. And so this is what you should end up with um, if you've done it right. And the reason we're doing all of this um, is because these VRTK packages that we want to be installed, they're not installed by default by Unity. They're not even made by Unity. Um, so we're having our piece of software that we're building jump out to this other path to get these um, tools and we're saying this project is dependent on these tools, so go get them. Um, and the last thing that it asks us to do is to state the latest version. And so that's here. Um, and this is like a dynamic thing, it'll change. So right now it says 1.1.10. Um, you know, next month it might say 1.1.11 or whatever. Whatever it says here is what we type in here where it says XYZ. We can't leave XYZ. We need to change it to 1.1.10 for me because that's what it says here. Um, if you start this project two weeks from now and this doesn't say 10 anymore, it's different. Type whatever it says in here. That's the end. All right. If you've done exactly what I've said, if you've made sure that you copied exactly this and nothing more and nothing less and you've made sure you highlighted exactly the curly q and the dependency line and nothing else and pasted it over top you're good we're going to hit file save and then we're going to jump back into unity and when we do it's going to have already started doing something it'll have the package manager um, telling us hold on i'm processing all this stuff it's importing 
all the things that we just gave it the path for, um, all the VRTK information. So now, after all that trouble, we've got our Unity project set up to use um, the virtual reality toolkit, which is going to make our lives so much easier um, from here on in. So in the next tutorial, we'll get to do something that's actually a little more interesting and not just setting up a project. Um, but this is super important uh, to allow Unity to talk to a VR headset and controller.